Hello everyone. We have a 38 year old lady and he has, she has come with a right flank pain radiating to groin. She has hematuria but no dysuria or frequency. Abdominal imaging shows 6 mm calculus in the distal right ureter with no hydronephrosis. Which of the following medication will most helpful in facilitating stone passage? Well, the answer to this question is Temsulosin. Well, this patient has uretic colic, secondary to distal uretic stone and uncomplicated stone less than 1 millicentimeter can be managed conservatively with hydration, analgesic and alpha blocker. Well, in our case, the stone size is just, it is a 6 millimeter size. So definitely it is less than 1 centimeter or 6 millimeter size is there. So this we can manage with some alpha blocker other than the supportive treatment. Alpha receptors are found in the distal ureter based on the detka, base of the detuser, bladder neck and urethra. Well, again if you go back that in this our patient it is in the distal right ureter and no hydronephrosis that means there is no blockage. So we are getting a 6 millimeter in the distal part, distal part of the ureter. Now, sympathetic activation stimulate alpha receptor to maintain high muscular tone for normal urinary continence. Well, reflex urethral spasm secondary to stone impact causes typical vexing and waning pain seen in the urethral colic. Now, we have temusulosin is an alpha-1 antagonist used to treat B benign prostatic, prostatic hypertrophy by inhibiting smooth muscle cont contraction. This is in male patient only, obviously, no need to say. But I'm telling you the, what are the uses of temusulosin in general I'm talking about. This is for male patient only. Now this is a, of course, we do talk about alpha-1 antagonist, but it is selective for alpha-1 AD receptor found in the prostate as well as vascular alpha, in, compared to vascular where we have alpha-1 B receptor. This again a point should be noted very carefully. It relaxes ureteral muscle and decreases intraureteral pressure and this facilitates stone passage and reduces need for analgesic. So now we are clear about it that it has, it has action in prostate in males and in both male and female it is in a ureter also. Let's look into other options. Bithanacol and oxybutyrin. Cholinergic receptors are found in the dome of the bladder. It helps in contraction and thereby it helps in voiding of urine. These receptors are not known to be present in the ureter. Bithanacol is a cholinergic agent used to treat urine retention or atonic bladder. So definitely it has no role in uretic stone. Oxybutyrin is an anticholinergic agent that inhibits cholinergic input during the bladder filling. It improves bladder capacity and is used to treat overactive bladder, so-called detruser instability. So this, but definitely it has no role in the treatment of stone. Now I have a question for you. Write down the answer. What is the parasympathetic nerve supply of the urinary bladder? Write down the answer. Answer is pelvic nerve and its nerve supply is S234. What about option B, finasteride is a 5-alpha reductase emitter. It blocks conversion of testosterone to dihydrotestosterone. It is much more powerful androgen as compared to testosterone. It is used as a second line agent in the management of B benign prostatic hypertrophy. Sometimes they write as BHP also, benign hypertrophy of prostate, both are same. But it is second line treatment for BHP, not for uretic stone. Now let me tell you a little bit more about this drug. So let's learn about basic concept about uh, this hormones. Anterior pituitary has LH, FSH. 
in the, of course, I'm talking about male patient at the moment. LH act on the testes and that causes the release of testosterone. So when we use ketoconazole or spironolactone, they lead to gynecomasia. Why? Because they are they have an inhibitory action at this. That's the reason they lead to gynecomasia. Because they are going to reduce testosterone level. So this way as the site of action of ketoconazole and spironolactone. Now this testosterone can act directly on the androgen receptor complex or it is converted into dihydrotestosterone. This is done by 5-alpha reductase. It is much more powerful than testosterone. This is inhibited by finasteride. Now ultimately, this, uh, this act on the gene expression of androgen responsive cell and drug lies spironolactone, cyproterone and flutamide, they inhibit this particular step. As far as we are concerned, this is the sword, finasteride inhibit conversion of testosterone into dihydrotestosterone. Option D, imipramine is an antidepressant used to treat childhood aneurysis. It has got anticholinergic effect and promote urine retention. So it has got no role in passage of stone. Golden line to remember, alpha-1 receptor blockers such as tamoxifen act on the distal ureter. It lower muscle tone and reduces reflex ureter spasm secondary to stone infection. This engine facilitates stone passage and reduce the need for analgesic. Well, I hope you like the session. Just to inform you, we have following courses for you. Smart Medicine, there are 350 hours of pre-recorded video lecture of whole internal medicine. It includes all super specialty and allied subject, covering A to Z, including basic concept about every topic. Second, we have tests and discussion. There are more than 1,000 questions which, with discussion of the questions, sample question and discussion you saw in this session. Now, third thing is Medicine Simplified, which is a textbook of medicine. Harrison is the ultimate book to read medicine, but it is too vast. Reading one page of Harrison, you need half an hour. To understand, you need two hours, but you need only two minutes to forget what was written in that page. Then what is the solution? We have Medicine Simplified. It's a textbook of medicine, but so-called mini Harrison. It's a summary of what you need to read from Harrison. The book is available in Amazon also. Now, these three things are more than enough for your MD, DNB medicine and family medicine final exam preparation, need SS exam preparation. You don't need to read any other book. These three are complete in all the aspects. For more detail, you can contact at this number. It's a mobile ad as well as WhatsApp. And this is my personal email ID. Anybody want to reach to me, you can contact me at this email ID. Thank you very much.